Let's take a look at generics. All right, my friends, back in general once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about generics. Now, the first thing you might notice is that there are already some classes prepared over here. We have a block. We have a stone and a wood block over here. And we also have an empty block storage class because this is the example that I want to show you for generics. Now, first of all, what the frick are generics? Well, as a high level overview, we've actually seen them previously. And generics are, for example, lists, right? So a list over here, and I have these angle brackets. Anything I put in there, that is a generic, because if I middle mouse button click on this list, you can see it, this is a list of type E, right? And E is not defined. It is a generic data type, because we can put in any data type that we would like, right? I can put in a string, I can make a list of strings, or I can make a list of integers, or I can make a list of, I don't know, blocks, for example, right? I could do that as well. See, there you go, a list of block. Why not? So I can put anything I want into a list, and that is where generics come in. Now, you can actually further constrain this by saying, well, I actually only want certain things inside of this particular list. So for example, our block storage over here, we're going to make this a storage for only blocks. So to make this a generic, what you can do is you can add the angle brackets over here and then any type of letter for, well, the actual generic right this then represents a data type that you don't actually know right now but in our case what i actually want is this data type whatever we put in here it has to extends from the block class over here that we have right here otherwise it is not allowed in the block storage I think this is very easily understandable in terms of Minecraft, right? You would just have a chest in which you could only store blocks, for example. Where would we store them? Well, we're going to store them in a list over here of type T, because once again, we don't know what T is, but that doesn't matter. Like, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter to the list over here. So we're going to import the list. This is our blocks over here. We're going to make a public, we're going to make a public block storage over here which is going to be this.blocks, is going to be initialized to an array list. And then we're going to have two methods. The first one is a add block method. And what type of parameter is this going to take? Let's think about this. Well, it is going to add a block. However, what is what, what kind of a block? Well, we don't know. It's going to be T, right? The, the data type is going to be T because once again, we're leaving it generic. And then we're saying blocks.add, passing in the block right here, which is totally fine because this is also a list of type T. And we can then even system our print line this and say add it block right here to the block storage. And then lastly, we will also do a public void display blocks. This is just going to basically output all of the blocks. So we're just going to say system out print line blocks in our storage and then going to do a for each loop for each T block inside of the blocks list over here. We're going to say system out print line and then we'll make it like a list. So we're going to say this block. There you go. And that will be an example of a custom generic. Now, how often are we going to make custom generics? Almost never. I'm going to be real. They are very particular. And usually I would say it in general in Minecraft modding, you're not really going to make a lot of custom ones. However, you will deal with a lot of those that are already made in the Minecraft source code because there are generics when dealing with registering things. There are generics when dealing with con configured features, like when you are spawning things in the world, right? Like all of world gen is a generics nightmare. Let's first of all see the block storage here implemented just for the sake of argument. So if I were to make a new block storage over here of a type, well, block in this case, because well, block extends block, that's totally fine. Right? We can say block storage, and this could be then a new block storage over here. There you go. And I could add all sorts of things, right? I could say block storage dot, dot add block, and we can make a new stone block over here. And let's just add a couple of stone blocks and one wood block over here, maybe. There you go. And I can then say block storage display blocks. There you go. And this would then show me. I have, you know, a stone, a stone, a wood, and a wood in here. However, now I actually have, I have a new idea, right? Now I have a block storage, but in this block storage, you can only add wood blocks, right? This is the wooden block storage, right? That That's it. So we now have a new block storage over here. No worries at all. And I'm going to proudly add my couple of new wood blocks that I found over here. And now I'm coming along and I'm like, oh, I want to add my stone block. Nope, that does not work because the stone block, you can see, it only accepts wood blocks because we, we specified over here in this generic, hey, this block storage is only for wood blocks. So a stone block does not work. If we now had another class, right, let's say, for example, the wood log block, right, which would, let's say, extends the wood block here in this case, right? There you go. That's going to be fine. We'll just leave it empty like this, right? And now I could also add a new wood log block. Now, this is not going to properly display over here. It's still going to display as a 
as a as wood right here, right? So the reason being because the wood block over here just passes in wood type here to the block class. In theory, what you would want to do is make a string here as well. But, you know, let's not make it too complicated in this case. But there you go. The idea being that because the wood block the wood lock block is also a wood block. It can also be added to this particular block storage as well. So what have we learned? We have learned that generics are pretty freaking crazy. Okay, that is the one thing that I can definitely assure you is the thing that you will take away from this. Uh, I just want you to basically realize, okay, when you see something like these angle brackets over here and there's something written in there, that is always a generic, right? You can also see this crazy thing, right? Where it's like T extends this. You can also sometimes see a question mark inside of it that is what is called a wild card generic so we could for example say well i'm not sure what is going to be in here but it's going to extend the block class it's all sorts of crazy stuff i i'm telling you that you will basically have to learn some of this as you're going along especially in modding the good thing is that really we're not going to implement any of this ourselves we're only going to use it most of the time and if you do want to implement or if you have to implement some of this yourself then i'm hoping at that point you're going to be able to well move past a java introduction and actually sort of into your own advanced type of java understanding Oh yeah, there you go. That is generics. A pretty crazy topic, but it's going to get even crazier in this tutorial right here where we'll talk about Lambda and streams. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.